The last part in the design mode is blocks. And I wanted to create a separate video for this because it's going to take a little bit longer. So with blocks, you've got a header and you've got really uh, listed all the available blocks uh, that are either activated or uh, that are installed with Headway by default. As you uh, go into each block, uh, you'll have various sub uh, sections. So you'll have like the site title and the site tagline for header. On top of header though, you've got background. So you can set, say, the background color to a crazy purple fuchsia color. You could go to site title and set the font color to some sort of a light blue color. And then you could set the site tagline to maybe some like oops, horrific green color. You can also change the font size. So off screen here, I just set it to 42 pixels. And maybe I want to set the site title to say 10 pixels or 12 pixels. Uh, you also have, with some elements, uh, various states. So you've got hover or a clicked state. So you can also set those changes, uh, or those states rather, uh, depending on how you want your site to look. Think of this as uh, your site title. Uh, let me save this really quick and view your site. So uh, the, the site title, if you're not using an image, is your link to go back home, so to speak. And uh, when you've got your links, you've got various uh, link settings you can change. So you can have just what a link looks like normally. You can have a hover effect on it. So if you wanted to, say, make your hover effect be underlined or you wanted to change the color, you could do something like that. And then you've also got a clicked setting. So if you've clicked the link before, uh, to kind of know that you've already visited that link, uh, you can use that that clicked option. And as you keep going through, uh, you'll have, say, your content, and you've got the various content uh, elements inside of the content block or the widget area block. You've also got something called instances. And what instances are is this allows you to set each individual block on your website. So say you've got a layout with multiple widget areas. You can actually change, uh, make setting changes to all of your instances, or from the instances dropdown, you can select a specific uh, widget block or widget area and change just the settings for that block. You've got the same for all of the uh, all of the blocks. If you have multiple navigation uh, blocks on a page, you'll also have instances. Just change the instance that you want to uh, affect and then change your settings.